Yesterday, I called Barack Obama Elementary School. I wanted to find out if the fact that the school's named after Obama actually translates into the way that the uh, they grade into their philosophy and strategy for, for, for the grading system. Right. And here's what happened. Barack Obama Elementary. Uh, y'all opened up on Monday. Yeah. And I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a long time, waiting for like a year or so until there was a school opened up named after my man Barack Obama. You know what I mean? And uh, I wanted to get my son enrolled in y'all's uh, program over there, but I just had a few questions as far as the way that y'all handle the kids and so on with the grading system and whatnot. Okay, what's your address? My address is 2020 Smithfield. What is it? Smithfield. Smithfield? No, Smithfield. Smith? Smithfield. 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 That's not in our boundary. <laughs> That's not within y'all boundary? No. Yeah, but I can relocate if that's what it comes down to. Okay, but well then when you do that, you have to bring your proof of residency. Yeah, no, I can do that. I mean, before I even make decisions like that, I need to know what the schools are about, you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, what is it that you need to know, sir? Well, I need to know what y'all, uh, really, what y'all grading system's all about, first and foremost. Because my son that I want to send to y'all, he ain't exactly the, the, the top student, you know, in, in charge, you know what I mean? He ain't really the head dog as far as in his classes and whatnot, yo. He ain't really excelling, necessarily. But my thoughts on the matter was, I mean, I know with the way that, that Obama, you know, I listened to him on a campaign trail and whatnot, and yo had a lot. Are you living in the area, sir? I'm sorry? Do you live in the area? No, what I'm saying to you is that I could relocate if that's what the situation called for. But first, I just need to know what y'all system is as far as inside the school dealing with the children, you know? Okay, let me give you the number to the main office because they have more information that they can provide to you as far as, like, any... Uh, okay, the main office right there at the school that you're talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let me hold on. Let me get my, let me get my pen. All right, what's the, uh, what's the number for that? Three zero. Mm-hmm. Nine two. Yeah. Six thousand. All right, six thousand. Nine five thousand. All right, that sounds good. I'll, I'll give them a call right now. Oh, okay. All right, thanks bye -bye. so much. All right, goodbye. Good afternoon, Division of Academics. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yes, yeah, I've been calling around to um to y'all's location. I've had a few questions as far as what your requirement was academically, and I ain't really and I've, I've been given a run around so far. So I'm hoping that maybe you'll be able to answer some questions for me as far as what y'all's uh, requirements is over there at Barack Obama Elementary School. And we say requirement. What's, what do you mean by that? Well. I mean, I'm assuming that um, that y'all re won't really have much in the way of a, a requirements. See, but the problem is that I got my, my son. He's enrolled right now in the school that he's going to. But I want to withdraw him, and I would even relocate if necessary because I need to get him into a school that will accept, you know, the way that he really ain't really achieving much. You know what I mean? And I can't get him to really achieve much. But then I've been waiting this whole time to say, wait till they open up a school named after Barack Obama. Wait till they open a Barack Obama school that he's running, you know, because I know that he's going to be down with that. Because I could even imagine a situation where he would say, look, uh, you ain't really get a good grade. This other dude over here got a good grade, but we're going to combine y'all two grades, you know, and make a and make an average grade and then dispense it equally, you know, proportion. So I just want to make sure that's the way y'all run things over there uh, so I can... No. What's no, that? not in terms of the grading. I mean, every student were, would earn their individual grade. And that's the grade that they would be given. Yeah, but that that don't. I mean, but then why? You know, and I ain't trying to put you on spot because uh -huh. I know I know you don't make these decisions. But why would y'all name yourself after Barack Obama when when we know that his policy was really? You know, I'm gonna try to spread that around to anybody who ain't really got none. You know, I'm gonna try to spread that that around that wealth and that and and whatnot. And well, so naming the, the school um, that is kind of more of honor of. of you know, the president, but it's not necessarily going to be run any differently than our other county schools. Yeah. It's still, you know, it's still going to have the same you know, administration and we still follow the same protocol. It's just a school is named in honor of him. Yeah, but let me let me put you on the spot right quick because what is y'all honoring about my man Barack Obama? Well, just in terms of they named the school after him, you know, and yeah. inside the school, they, you know, have, have pictures of him and they probably teach the students, you know, some of of who he is, um, but overall, it's still it's still a regular school. You know, it, it's not it's not a school that that overall the school is still run like the other schools are are run. Okay, but it just seemed to me that the way that he would want to run it, you know, was similar to the way that he would want to run the healthcare and the economy and whatnot. Well, he want to make sure that 
you know, I mean, just because you ain't work for something don't mean that you shouldn't get it. I mean, you feel me on that, right? Um. Well, just because just because you ain't really put in the work for something don't mean that you shouldn't be a, sh- shouldn't be supplied with it because that's a right that we have as Americans. Well, yeah, there are certain rights that we have. Yeah, right? yeah, we got. I mean, I got a right. I mean, my kid got a right as an American to really get good grades in school and whatnot. You know, he's got a right to that. <laughs> yeah, but and, that he have to he have to earn it. Yeah, but I mean, who by whose justification is he earning what? You know what I mean? Because just because one man earn it that way and another man earn it that way don't mean they shouldn't both get the, the same thing, you know? Like, just, um, just because one man is working for a paycheck, another man, you know, like myself, is sitting back, you know, he's getting the government uh, checks and, that and whatnot. I mean, but we still is owed that, you know, because we owe that because we in here and we and we is Americans first and foremostly, you know? Right. So I'm just, I, I'm trying to figure out if y'all name yourself after Obama and if Obama's running that school, then why is it? that it ain't being run in the same way that he run his other programs. You feel me? Uh, okay. Let's see if I can find someone who can answer that question for you. Hold on one sec. Thank you. How can I help you? Yeah, I've been waiting for... Uh, just real quick, I want to point out that every time I get to the to the simple question of do you run the school with Bar- Barack Obama's principles in mind, they put me on hold. Yeah, and they transfer you. Yep. Uh, I was put on hold. I was supposed to get someone to answer the questions for me. How can I help you? Okay, because I'm thinking about relocating my, my, my current location and uh, enrolling my, my kid in y'all's uh, school over there. Yes, I spoke with you, sir, and I was asking you what is it that you're interested in, and so I gave you the number to the um, main office. Yeah, well, they, and they connect me right back over to you, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, yeah, I can they, help you. Yeah, well, no, I just well, I was just looking to know the way that the um, grading system works. You know, I want to make sure, because like I said, my kid, you know, he ain't really... He ain't really achieving nothing in school, so uh, he ain't really trying to put in the work and whatnot. But I know that y'all, you know, y'all's Barack. Well, this is our first year opening. Yeah, but y'all's y'all Barack Obama Elementary, you know what I mean? Which which makes me presume the fact that y'all follow his principles, you know, his guiding principles and whatnot. Yeah. And his his main principle was that just because you ain't put in the work for something, don't mean that you shouldn't be supplied with it, because that's an equal right that all Americans have, you know. So I want to make sure that I bring my kid over to you. You know, he can do his thing, lay back, you know, but he's still going to be supplied with the grades. Same as, you know, his big pops, that would be me. You know, I'm going to be supplied with the checks, the government checks and whatnot. You know, just because I ain't currently working don't mean that I shouldn't be supplied with it, you know? Exactly. So, so, <laughs> so is that the way y'all, y'all run things? Like maybe everybody, you know, they do their own thing, they get their own grades at the end of the semester or whatever, however y'all uh, partition it. They, you, you put all the, the grades in one pool and then y'all split. No, all kids. Are, I mean, no. So you're telling me. You're saying in one pool? Yeah, yeah. you put all the grades together. You average it out and then everyone get that average so that it's really a team effort. You know what I mean? And everyone get the same thing because no one really has the right to be above no one else, especially when they're kids. Right? Well, all kids are treated equally. Yeah, so, but how, but it ain't the way he's at the school now. He, the school he at right now, he ain't being treated equally, you know, because he getting an E, he failing out. While other people, you know, was getting A's and passing on. My man been on the second grade twice now, you know. And other people, they're on fourth grade by now. So that ain't equal. You know, I, I'm looking for some real equality. And I knew that when mm-hmm. I saw Barack Obama Elementary was open. And I said, now my man's going to supply me with what I'm looking for. Because my man's going to run the school the way he run the economy, the way he run health care. When he said, everybody's going to get it. Whether you work for it or not, you're going to get it. Well, no, he's not in charge of the school. Oh, well, that's a misconception. That's no, a no, no, he's not, he's yeah, not in charge. Yeah, that's so. a misconception on my part, and I want to firstly apologize for having I know, that's okay. But, but do y'all still run the school with his principles in mind? Can you hold for one second, please? <laughs> Every time. And that's as far as I got. Three times I said, do you run the school with his principles in mind? Is that why you named the school after him? And every single time, they put me on hold.